This is Marina. Today we're going to look at how narcissists are romantic manipulators. Now, this is a really important uh, tool that they use, in particular in the beginning, because it's able to uh, draw people in and it gets them really set uh, for being controlled for the rest of the crazy craziness that you're going to experience in the relationship so the narcissist also loves that initial time um, when they're romancing you the flowers the chocolates the nice dinners i mean it goes on right they like that too because they're seeing the impact it's having on you and plus you know it's a new relationship so it's all um it, it, it makes them quite excited, but they love the fact that they're at, it's, they're succeeding at it. So many narcissists, when they are courting you initially, are still writing letters to their exes to try to get them back, especially when the significant others just went cut for no, uh, with no closure for them. Not all exes want to stay friends with the uh, narcissist. In fact, very few do. And that's why they like exes to be their friends because they're able to say, well, look, I'm okay because he or she still wants to be with me. Now, with this romantic manipulation, what this sets us up for is that someone has come in and they've drawn us in. Now, as we become very comfortable, as we've surrendered, remember this is all mind control, so we don't know that it's happening to us, so we can't protect ourselves. Once once the target has settled, trust is very vulnerable, possibly also has shared their body. All of these things are, you know, it's all feeling good. Then they'll start to pull away. Ah, then that's when the anxiety kicks in. And then, of course, that's how this uh, push and pull dance um, is able to continue throughout the relationship. When we look at the narcissist discard, whether you discard or the narcissist discard, that doesn't mean it's actually the end of the relationship. That just becomes a pattern uh, lots of times within the relationship. Now, if by any chance you have experienced this push-pull, either in your childhood or in other relationships, then you may start to become accustomed in believing that your expectations are too high, that what you want out of a relationship is the issue and problem. So you may start to settle. I, many of my clients actually, uh, who end up being quite traumatized by narcissists, say that they dropped their expectations. They went lower than what they have uh, previously wanted or expected in um, in a relationship and that then that didn't even help the situation they still got the same treatment and if not even worse so romantic manipulation you can start to become aware of what is happening here and why do you need someone so much to actually start to show you um, these kind of acts and then you interpreting them as love because it's not love. Romance is very short-lived. So the love is something that we need to establish over a period of, um, of time. Now, once trauma bonding sets in, then that just starts sending um, our brain. Every time there's a push, our brain kicks off and says, danger, danger. Well, it's not necessarily danger. So, uh, you know, if the brain goes into danger, then it starts to become very anxious. So you can't think straight. So you have to start to uh, try to calm the anxious brain down and then start to look at things from a rational perspective. We, there is a big saying, you know, within our uh, communities and um, in particular, the spiritual community, soulmates, twin flames. We learn through relationships. This was a lesson learned. No, that's not how relationships are supposed to teach us. In fact, many people end up dying from these type of relationships. Many people just don't recover at all. Many people start to stay away from love altogether. So if you are continuing to learn about love 
through this kind of abuse and then um, you know having to feel um, emotionally depleted change your belief around that because relationships are there to enhance us yes um, we're never going to be baggage free so to speak that's why we come together with another person so that we can grow and then learn through that all right, that's all for now. And if I can help you in any way, and if you'd like some coaching with me, please reach out. Bye for now.